Welcome to the new Superior Court of Los Angeles County website. In this video, we'll be exploring the menu and submenu of the site and how to navigate it to access different subpages of the site for all of our different court services. On the home page of the new website, you'll notice a helpful menu at the very top. At this top banner, you'll see a couple of different key categories. First, you have online services, then you have self-help, then you have types of cases, general info, and of course, our most popular menu, jury duty. You'll also notice some helpful tabs here for attorneys and for our justice partners and professionals. Now let's go through each menu to access all the subpages to see what they encompass. First, we'll start with online services. If you click on online services dropdown, you'll notice a helpful submenu of options. These are things you can do online without coming in to a courthouse. First, you'll notice case information. Here you can find helpful links to access a case, access court documents, transcripts and recordings, obtain copies of other records. You can also make an appointment at a clerk's office or at a self-help center. You can also find helpful court forms for filing, such as finding a court form, filing court locator, e-filing, and even filing at home. Lastly, you'll notice our section for courtroom services. This includes remote hearings, requesting an interpreter, hearing reminders, and exhibits. Now, if you click on each submenu, such as access a case, it will take you to a new subpage of the site. And whenever you navigate to a new page, you can always use our helpful breadcrumb in the top right to go back to the home page or back to the previous page you were on. For example, if you navigate to online services and go to access court documents, and you scroll down and go to case document images, you'll see the breadcrumb here goes multiple levels deep. So you can go back to access the case and again, back to home. It's very simple so you never get lost on the new website. Now back to online services. If we go to access a case here on this subpage, this is a page that provides a comprehensive guide to help finding and viewing court records for cases filed in the Superior Court of Los Angeles County. If you scroll down this page, you'll notice helpful subtabs for things such as finding case information, searching for a case by name, searching court calendars, accessing court documents, transcripts and recordings, and tentative rulings. Now you can click on any of these windows and it will take you to the next dedicated page, such as searching court calendars. Within this page, you'll then notice a few other options in each subpage. For example, the civil case calendar, the criminal case calendar, and so forth and so on. Next, we'll navigate to the self-help menu. If you click on the self-help menu dropdown, this is for assisting individuals who need to proceed on their own without an attorney. Here you'll find a couple of different options. You'll notice our self-help service catalog. You'll also notice judicial referrals and even an option for filing at home. Next, we'll navigate to types of cases. In this drop-down menu, we'll explore the nine different divisions in which legal matters are handled at the court. You have appellate cases, civil cases, criminal, family law, juvenile, mental health, probate, small claims, and traffic. Again, just as the other subpage menus, you can put on any one of these subpages. For example, if we click on traffic, that will open up the traffic homepage. And again, within each subpage, you can scroll down and access a wide range of features. For example, search my ticket, pay my ticket, request an extension, contest my ticket, can't afford to pay, hearings and appointments. Now, if we navigate back to the top menu and click on General Info, that is our fourth main menu heading. Here you can find more information about the court, such as contacts and locations, courthouses contacting the court, the courtroom telephone directory, and our judicial officer search. You can also learn more about the court, such as court holidays, court hours, and budget. You can also access announcements and notices from the court communications office. You can also find here a link to research and statistics, including our publications and research and statistics menu. You can also access our employment or careers portal 
and of course our community focus section, which focuses on community outreach at the court. Lastly, within the general info tab, you can also access other court resources such as archives, calculators, and so on and so forth. Further down, you'll find options for transcripts and recordings, court interpreters, Americans with Disabilities Act, complaints and suggestions, and filing fees. Lastly, in the top right of the main menu, you'll notice an Attorneys tab. In the Attorneys tab, this is a centralized location to access attorney-level case information and court services. In the Attorneys tab, you can access options such as online services. This includes an attorney portal, accessing a case, probate notes, tentative rulings, transcripts and recordings, clerk's office appointments, remote hearings, and hearing reminders. You can also access other helpful court information and tools, such as courthouses, our telephone directory, judicial officer search, court gate calculator, court holidays, and other courtroom information. Beyond that, you can access additional court resources, such as our digital evidence system, local court rules, finding a court form, as well as court communications for announcements. Lastly, in our attorney community, you can access our judicial mentor program, our temporary judge program, and our commissioner references. And the final tab on the main menu is for our justice partners and professionals. If you click this drop-down, this is for accessing the latest court information and programs. Firstly, you can find our Justice Partner Portal. This is for providing access to vital court information for the court's justice partners. You can also beneath that find PACE, the Professional Appointee Court Expenditure Program. Beneath that, you'll find our Media Access Portal and also our Shared Procurement Services. To the right, you'll find our Criminal Record Request our mediation panel menu, and our purchasing contracts administration. Now, if we head back to the home page of the new website, beneath the main menu, you'll also notice a secondary menu on the home page, beneath court help. On the secondary menu, these are our most access pages, such as jury duty, restraining orders, traffic citations, remote hearings, accessing a case, language access, self-help, and ADA. Beneath this, you'll find further options for what else you can do at the court, such as alternative dispute resolution, our explainer videos, LA Court Connect, and e-filing. As we navigate further down the home page, you'll next notice our court communications section. Here you'll find the latest attorney notices as well as other recent announcements from the court. As we scroll down past announcements, you'll then come to our types of cases section on the home page. This breaks down all the different types of cases we cover at the Superior Court of Los Angeles County, such as appellate, civil, criminal, family law, juvenile, mental health, probate, small claims, traffic. To learn more about any of these areas of the court, you can click on any button and it will open up a sub page menu. Further down beneath that, you'll then find our courthouse locator. If you're ever lost and unsure where your nearest courthouse is, this is where you can scroll through to find the courthouse closest to you or the courthouse that you need to report to for jury duty or your case. Beneath our courthouse locator, you'll find other general information about the court, such as our community outreach, our research and statistics, career opportunities at the court, and our mission and court values. Now, if you would like to learn more about Court Help, our 24-7 feature available on our new website, be sure to watch the next video in our series, which dives deeper into Court Help, our 24-7 chatbot.